these are the two products I like to use to seal my rocks with. Liquitex acrylic medium, high gloss varnish, and a UV resin that you don't have to mix. It already comes mixed. About a year ago, I painted some strawberry decoy rocks and I did a video on it and the link is above if you want to go watch that video. I took the decoy rocks and put them in my strawberry garden bed. I was having an issue with the squirrels and birds eating my strawberries. The idea is it's supposed to deterrent them from eating the real strawberries. So about a year later, I went back to my strawberry garden to recover the rocks. Some of them got a little bit buried in the soil. I have a sprinkler system. <laughs> As you can see, the neighbor's cat is going to help me look for the strawberry rocks. He's a mess. So I only picked up a few. It's not no mirror close to how many I put in there. I really have to do dig around in there to get them all. And I'm going to go and wash them off really well and see how they held up. Meanwhile, I'm going to take this rock that I had did in the UV resin and I'm going to put it in my garden and I'm going to do an update video a year from now to see how it held up as well. Now to go wash these rocks. So I'm just going to rinse them off with some cold water real quick. And I'm going to dry them off with a paper towel. And so far they look really good. I don't see no faded color anywhere. They really held up. So again, it's a Liquitex acrylic medium high gloss varnish that I used on these strawberry rocks. And I only put two coats on those rocks. Now I'm going to show you how I use this resin that I found. It's a UV resin. And I use this LED light to cure the resin. And it's got the legs built in. So you just open them up and you can sit it on the table and it turns itself off after a few, uh, couple of minutes which is supposed to be the dry time for your nails you may have to turn it on a couple more times uh, to dry the rocks off and it's also a perfect size for the rocks this rocks about a three inch rock so now I'm going to put the resin on. So here I'm just going to put on the top. Uh, and I put just enough to cover the top and let it kind of smooth out. Now this is my first time, so uh, I realized I could have used less because it spreads itself out naturally. So I used an old brush to kind of smooth out the side so there's no drips. I also like to mention that it cures a lot faster in the sunlight. So you really don't need an LED light. And this is what it looks like when it gets done cured. And I should have used gloves. I like putting it on a wire baking rack that you use for cookies to dry the rock. That way it doesn't stick to anything. And as you see, it made a mess on my board, so live and learn. This came from a pizza box. It's to use to keep the box from squishing down on your pizza. And so I kept them. It helps keep whatever you're sealing your rocks with from building up on the back and adhering to the surface. So now I'm going to try again with the Panda Rock. This time I'm going to be careful how much I use. And I start at the highest point of the rock putting the resin on because again it's going to kind of smooth itself out now I'm going to go over it with a brush real quick just to make sure there's no drips 
this kind of keeps stops it from spreading a little bit and if it does it spreads evenly instead of looking like a drip I'll put a link in the description uh, you can actually leave the legs closed and the light still shines it has little holes for the lights and this is what it looks like when it's finished it's just it really cuts down on time and I'll explain why towards the end of the video and again you can leave it on the little pizza stand or you can just put it on the wire rack which is what I did Now these are all the rocks I have done over the past year and some of them are done in the Liquitex and the others, a couple others in the UV resin. This one is the Liquitex high gloss varnish and it's acrylic varnish so it doesn't have any odor and I had to do about six coats to get it to look like that. Now this is the resin the panda as you see I did just one coat on top and on the back I just did one or two coats of the Liquitex putting resin on the back I felt like was just a waste but you could do that if you would like to and this one I used a Liquitex varnish as you can see it looks like the one with the resin but I had to do six coats to make it look thick like the resin so it just, you know, it depends on how much work you want to do because you have to let it dry really good in between coats. And this one I only did two coats like I did the strawberry decoys. Now, the story behind the resin is I have been looking for a resin for about a little over a year now. One that you can handle if you have sensitive lungs, which I have asthma. And when I came across this resin, it's safe for you don't have to worry about you know bringing harmful fumes you don't need uh, an area that's well ventilated and that's what I like and then you also don't have to mix it so we'll just see how it holds up in the garden if it holds up like these strawberry decoys did that one I did in the liquid text again it takes six coats to look like it's been covered in resin thank you for watching and I hope this helps anyone out there who's painting rocks and wondered what sealers would be good to use. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to see what random rock paints come up with next.